Hello boys and girls! Today we are going to be going over some first grade fractions. We will be looking at shapes and learning how to divide them into equal sections. This is a circle. I just see one part of this circle. That means I have one whole. Here's another circle. But if I divide it into two sections, two equal sections, then that means that I have two halves. One, two. Each of the sections that you can see are the same size. And when I drew that line down the center, both sides look exactly the same. This is symmetry. If I draw a line down the center of a shape, and it makes both sides look the same, that is a line of symmetry. That means that my shape is symmetrical. Symmetry is a word that I'll be using several times throughout this presentation. Here's another circle. Let's try dividing it into three sections this time. That means I will have three thirds. There's my lines. My sections are equal. They are the same size. That means that each one of those sections is one third. One, two, three sections. Let's do this one more time, but I want to divide it into four sections. So I'll draw one line down from top to bottom and one line across from side to side. Now I can see that I have four sections, and that means I have four fourths. I have divided my circle into four fourths. One, two, three, four. Each of my sections look the same, and they are the same size. I used lines of symmetry again to divide my shape. Now, let's look at whole, halves, thirds, and fourths again. Whole, halves, thirds, fourths. You can see that I took the same circle and divided it into different ways to show different fractions, different portions or sections of the circle. This doesn't have to be done with circles though. I can do it with other shapes too. Here is what it would look like with squares. Whole, halves, thirds, fourths. Remember, each time I divide a shape into different sections, if I'm going to have two sections for halves, they need to be the same size. If I'm going to have three sections for thirds, they need to be the same size. And if I'm going to have four sections for fourths, all four sections need to be the same size. Let's go over some different ways to divide a square in half. The first way is like I showed before with just doing one line down the center. Another way would be doing one line from corner to corner. And another way would be one line from side to side. But remember, each section needs to be equal. And equal means the same. Symmetry. Remember that fancy word I said before? That word means that both sides of the shape look the same if I draw a line down it. And that is definitely the case with each of these squares. When I drew the line down from top to bottom, both sides on the left and right look the same. When I drew this, the line from corner to corner, both of those sides look the same. Now it looks like two triangles. And the last square that I drew a line from left to right side now, on the top and bottom, it looks like I have two long rectangles. 
I used a line of symmetry on each of these shapes. Let's go on to thirds. What are some different ways that I can make thirds using a square? I can do two lines down from the top to the bottom. But remember, I need to space them out so each section is the same size. I can do the same thing just from side to side, just like I did with my halves. Now, in each of my squares, I see three equal sections. Let's move on to fourths. Can you think of any ways I can divide my square into four equal sections? Let's get started. I can do one line across and one line down. Now I've divided my one big square into four smaller squares. Now each of those sections are equal. What's another way? We can do one, two, three lines down from top to bottom, creating four equal sections. Or I can do one, two, three lines across, creating four equal sections. Now in both of those squares, it looks like I have really skinny rectangles. In my last square, I'm going to go diagonally from corner to corner. So now I have two equal sections. And then if I go corner to corner again, now I have four equal triangles dividing up that square. Great job. Four sections are in each of these squares. That means that I divided each of these squares into fourths. Can you find the wrong one? On each of these squares, I tried making halves. Remember, each of our halves needs to be the same size and look the same. Can you see which one is wrong? It's the middle square. Correct. I tried doing a diagonal line, but it is not going from corner to corner. So the top section looks like a small triangle, and the bottom section does not look like a great shape at all. Great job. The other two are correct because both of the sides are equal. What about this set? Again, I tried making halves. Can you look at these squares and find which one was done wrong? Which of these squares does not have two equal sections? It's this one. I did just one line from top to bottom, but it wasn't down the center. So the side on the left is very big and the side on the right is really skinny. That is not equal halves. What about these ones? I tried dividing these squares into thirds. Can you see a square that does not have equal thirds? It's this one. Great job. Those three sections are definitely not equal. The triangle on the top and the bottom of that square look smaller than the middle section. What about these squares? I tried dividing these ones into fourths. Can you find the unequal fourths? It's this one. Great job. I did one nice line down the center, but my line from left to right was way too high. So the top sections are small and the bottom sections are too big. What about these ones? I tried dividing these into fourths again. Can you find the square that does not have correct fourths? It's this one. Great job. 
Again, I used diagonal lines, but instead of using just one diagonal line from corner to corner, and then a second diagonal line from the other corners, I used smaller diagonal lines. Each of these sections are not equal. Now, let's go back and talk a little bit more about lines of symmetry. Let's look at these four shapes and see if we can add a line of symmetry to each one. Let's look at the heart first. If I add one line across like this to the heart, do both sides of that line look the same? No, they don't. The top has two bumps and the bottom has one point. That's definitely not the same. Can you think of another way I can try drawing a line on the heart? If you said I should go from top to bottom instead, you would be correct. Now I have one bump on each side and it comes down to a point at the bottom. Great job. What about the triangle? What if I try drawing a line from side to side on the triangle? Do each sides of that line look the same? No, they don't. The top looks like a small triangle and the bottom looks like what we call a trapezoid. Let's try changing our line. Now we have two equal triangles on each side of that line. Now let's come down to the pentagon. A pentagon is this yellow shape on my screen and it has five sides. That's what pentagon means, a shape with five sides. Let's try drawing one line down the center. Does it look the same on both sides? Yes, it does. I started at the top point and went straight down and finished at the middle of the far side. This pentagon is pretty neat because I can do that same line from any of the points to the straight line across from it. Let me show you. Here's another line of symmetry. If you turn your head, you can see that both sides of that line are equal also. Same thing with from the other corner. Same thing from the bottom corner, as well as the other bottom corner. If I use any one of those lines to show symmetry, I would be correct. Now, our last shape is the hexagon. I can do the same thing with the hexagon as I did with the pentagon. Let's try drawing one straight line down on the hexagon and see if we get two equal sides. Great job. I did it down the middle of the shape and straight down and so now I have two equal sides on each side of the line. That is a line of symmetry. I can also do the same thing on the hexagon as I did with the pentagon and start from one corner and go straight across the shape to the other corner. And if you turn your head, you can see that both sides are the same from that corner to corner line. And I could keep going around the shape and draw more lines of symmetry, but let's move on. To review. When we divide shapes, we need the different parts to be equal. Equal means the same size. And a line of symmetry is a line that divides a shape in two parts that look the same. You can do this, boys and girls.